Bag of trees, baby. Okay, I know this has been done bajillion, trillion, gazillion times on YouTube with uh, miniature wargaming. Um, you're looking at a bag of uh, trees, sorted kind, that you can find on Amazon for like $12 to $15. Um, be 156 scale, which is pretty much uh, close to 28 mil. Um, this works. Now, before I begin... Just want you to know this is basic stuff this is all i know is just the basic stuff of getting some trees on the tabletop and all that you could go to luke aps or uh, geeks gaming scenic uh, channel he's like el supremo when it comes to trees and other terrain and all that i'm sure black magic craft is too um and dm's craft there's tons of uh craft channels that are dedicated to doing stuff like this me i want it fast and simple and get it on the table and get going so I just bought I just bought these here, and, um, and I decided to you know they come with no base or anything. Uh, as you can see right there, uh, so you have to make you know put them on a base and all that. So what I did was throw that over there, and here's an example right here, Kaboomy. So as I put them on a 25 millimeter um, uh, base. Uh, and then I gone ahead for weight. I put a one inch uh, washer on the back So it gives them it, it makes it a little bit more sturdy and more weight So it'll stand on the table a little bit, you know still you're you still knock it over But you know pay attention to what you're doing, you know <laughs> So anyways, um, and then all I did is I spray matte spray on it to try to give it and you know to stay you know stiff sticky whatever you want to call it so but, um, and that put the Geeks Gaming Scenic on the base there too. So, you know, good old PV glue, whatever. And then, uh, that and then matte spray and then it's secure. But, um, yeah, that is, as, that's the easiest way I know. And, um, look, I already got a little fuzzy on there. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't understand the little top that they have on here. But you know what? A tree is a tree. It looks like a tree. It's going to work on the table. So the, I did one right there. I'm still in the process of doing more of these because um, I'm trying to get my fantasy a fantasy game going. That I will use uh, the Fistful of Lead game uh, game rules. Uh, and there's another one. Here's another one. And here's another one. I mean, I got quite a few of them. You know, you see one tree, you see them all pretty much. Uh, if you notice, I did. Uh, I have a a couple of dead trees I did, which was actually I just used a sticks from a mesquite tree and whatever you know mother nature provides the best so those are the ones i've done so far and then i've gone ahead you know i noticed you know guys on the miniature wargaming on their tables they do clumps of trees or a grouping of trees so i did one and i used a good old typical uh old cd for a base and um put three of them on there turn around and uh yeah i need to put more foliage i was gonna use like the lichen and all that and some more of that green like the railroad stuff the big green puffy stuff or what have you or uh there's stuff you could get at the pet store that's made for tree frogs um that has like vines and kind of stuff whatever you know so yeah this is just on your typical cd and uh it worked pretty well for me here uh, i made took some of my leftover you know scraps of uh insulation foam and paint them gray and all and uh, put them out there as like little stones and all that so but i left this one open so i could put in like a miniature or whatever in the forest so anyway so I'm, I'm getting messy stuff here but um and that's about it so uh if you have any other advice on here please comment below um let me know if this is kind of goofy or not but i think this will work i mean they're trees <laughs> so Alrighty guys, a uh, little slideshow following of them, and uh, I have one picture there shows an example, I believe, uh, of, a, of a Continental Army uh, uh, guy on there and stuff, peer, peeking through the trees and all that. So um, keep an eye out for more future videos here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be working on my fantasy game, and uh, it's going to deal with halflings. Halflings, as you probably saw in one of the videos. But uh, happenings and who knows what. So, and we'll go from there. And I hope you guys have a great week and uh, y'all do well. And when you have a chance, keep go to your bench and start building or painting or whatever, and get on the board on the table. 
Alrighty, slideshow. Bye! Bye.